hi and welcome to my platform and thank you for watching my channel please do remember to subscribe share if you care and hit the notification bell this was my inspiration so i got this ryobi um set at the builder's um, shop it's a home version and i'm going to be using it um and it's basically for made for home so it's not made for professional use i will be using it on my own to undo all of this um, shelving over here and also to install the boarding on the wall and yeah come do it with me my first screw out yay a hundred million more to go So I decided I'm going to now take down these shelves one by one. I started from the bottom, working my way up. It was pretty easy peasy. Got my shelves down and then I decided to take the bottom of the shelves or the supports, whatever you want to call them. Um, I took each and every single one out. So in total there were 11, uh, sorry, four rods which I um, ended up taking out with my drill. I drilled the nails out. And it was pretty easy, um, although I thought it was going to be difficult, but it was actually quite easy. And um, the parts that were difficult, I decided to take my pliers, use my pliers to take the difficult nails out, which you'll see shortly. So the parts where the nails were in the wall, I took some filling and I put the filling into the parts or rather the holes that were in the wall. I filled it up um, so that when I paint over it, you don't see the holes and it was also pretty easy. Okay, so I am done taking down these shelves and I don't know, like I was going to paint it and then have like decor, but now I'm thinking maybe I should put wallpaper at the side um, as well or some cladding, I don't know, but I'm feeling that idea um, just to make it look nice. So yeah, I don't know, but I will decide on it and I'll think on it, but I must say it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad, it was quite quick. After I did that, I decided to paint the room, or rather that particular wall white, and then I painted the rest of the room white, um, because I wanted it to be a black and white room. But then I wanted to have a feature wall, so obviously I painted it all white. And then I, did, I ran out of paint, as you can see in the small corner there, there's a bit of purple. So I decided, okay, I'm going to buy the paint later, and then I'm going to fill it in with white. In the meantime, I took my tape, and then I started creating my shapes with the tape that I wanted. I kind of went with how I felt um, and the spaces that I was seeing. There was no particular formula. I just kind of went along with how I felt and the spaces that were speaking to me at the time. And um, that's what I did. It didn't take too long to put the tape onto the wall, but it was a little bit tricky when I was painting because the wall is not smooth. The wall is a bit rough, so I had to go in with a paintbrush and the parts where it was a little bit 
rough I had to smooth it out or rather smooth out the lines with the paintbrush so that it's even and it looks neat and tidy. I absolutely enjoyed doing this. I had so much fun, although it was quite tiring, but I really, really did enjoy this whole episode. If you do enjoy this episode, please do remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave your comment. If you do decide to do this, please let me know and maybe even send a picture. Who knows? I'd love to see what your ideas are. I was inspired by the picture that I saw earlier. Um, I love to give flowers where flowers are due. As you can see now, I completed my shape or my design and then I'm going to go over it with black paint. Here you can see I have my handy little helper, my daughter, who decided to join in in the fun and she helped me do all the black paint onto this wall. We decided to wear um, plastic bags because we didn't have any overalls. Most of the time when I do this work at home, I do it in my most laziest clothes or most chilled <laughs> chilled clothing ever and i really didn't feel like getting any paint onto my clothes so i just wore a black overall so what i did is i took a plastic i made holes on the side and at the top for my head and i did the same for my daughter she was very helpful and we really enjoyed this project together um, it was loads of fun If you do, if you did, ooh, goodness, there goes my tongue. If you do decide to do this, please do share your comments and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from you guys. I was all done. The whole entire wall was black. I waited a couple of hours so I can just take out the tape. I absolutely loved it. It looked pretty cool, all black. And then that's me tasting the wall to see if it's nice and dry. It was dry and then I decided to take down the tape one piece at a time. The best part about this is actually seeing your creation come to life. I absolutely loved to see the design come to life and change the mood of the room. It's absolutely magical. And when you do this at home, I promise you the satisfaction that you get from doing this will be so amazing. There's my wall. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. I was so happy. And when people came in, they thought it was professionally done. Okay. I was like, yes, it was professionally done by me. So as you can see, the rest of the room was painted white. And then I had my accent wall, which just took the room to the next level. Okay. It just made the room. After that, I decided, okay, I'm going to put some mirrors just to decorate the room, lift it up a little bit and make it look absolutely stunning. I got it on sale, so it was $2.29 and it uh, dropped down, so I was very lucky. And then I used um, double-sided tape to make the mirrors stand or rather stick onto the wall. Um, I don't, I'm not really a fan of nails. Um, I'm not really a fan of nails because, you know, it sticks onto the wall and stuff and damage. Well, I wouldn't say damages the wall, but it does make a slight difference. So I stuck the tape onto the back of the um, mirror and um, I just pressed it onto the wall and it turned out absolutely fabulous. Very easy peasy, but make sure you get a good tape. So I started with one. Ended up with three.
and this is what the room looks like guys after i was done it was absolutely beautiful thank you so much for joining me please do subscribe comment share like and i hope to see you next time bye